Welcome to Grayon Math. We have a square and inside the square is divided into 12 parts and the area of the green region is actually given to be 126 square units and it is subdivided into the length divided into three parts equal parts for the horizontal and four equal parts for this vertical part and this triangle is actually situated at almost the, the uh, vertical leg is situated on the half of the square at the middle because as you can see this portion is actually congruent or the same length and we are actually required to find the value of x and y. Okay, so first thing we have to do is we need to write an equation about this figure. So the area total, let us write this as 80 is equal to the green portion which is given to be 126 plus the area of the triangle. Okay, so area total is actually if you look closely, this is actually 12 portions of X and Y, the rectangle X and Y. So we have 12 times XY is equal to 126 plus the area of the triangle, which is one half times the base, but the base is actually, this is actually X. And this is actually x over 2. And the base is actually 2 of y. So this becomes 2y. So the base is actually 3 over 2x times 2y for the height. Okay, so we can actually cancel this out. So this becomes 12xy equal to 126 plus 3 over 2 xy okay so next is we put this positive 3 xy to the left hand side then we have 12 xy minus 3 over 2 xy is equal to 126 then we get the lcd which is 2 then 12 times 2 is equal to 24xy minus 3xy is equal to 126. 21xy is equal to 126 times 2. Then we divide this by 21 both sides. Then this becomes 121 over, 126 over 21 is 6. And this cancels out. So we have the value of xy to be equal to 12. Okay, so after getting the value of xy is equal to 12, since this is a square, then we have for the horizontal line, the there is actually 3x it is equal to of course since this is a square it is also equal to the height or the width the length if the length is 3x then the and the if you look vertically the width is actually 4y so x is actually 4 thirds of y Then after getting the value of x is equal to 4 thirds y, simply substitute it to the x plus y equals 12. X, I mean x, y equals 12. So we have substitute x with 4 thirds y times y is equal to 12. So multiply by, if we cross multiply, we can 
say that y square is equal to 12 times 3 over 4. So this becomes 3 times 3, 9. So y square is equal to 9. So y is equal to plus or minus 3, but we are actually after the positive value, of course. So we have y is equal to 3. And x is actually 4 thirds of y, or 4 thirds times 3. So we have x is equal to 4. So for our answers, the value of x is actually 4 units and the value of y is 3 units. And again, thank you for watching until the end of the video. Please like the video if you like our solution. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so you will be updated for more math videos like this. Thank you. Bye.